Hey everybody, Patton here, welcome back to the channel. So probably the most requested thing that I get is how to play arcade games on your classic system. Now arcade games work a little bit differently than every other game because you have to load it as an archive, which is multiple files zipped together, and then you have to find the correct ROM that goes along with the correct core to get it to work. There are some games all together that do not work. And then there's other games that are very picky. They only work with one core. And then there's some games that will work with every core. So we're going to go over how to do all of that today. So after you've hacked your classic system and you have added the qsound.bin or qsound.zip BIOS file, there's a couple cores that we have to choose from. It's usually between the FBA or Final Burn Alpha cores or the MAME cores. What you're going to do is go to the Modules tab and go to the Hackchi Mod Store. First, you want to go to the RetroArch tab and download the newest version of RetroArch Neo. It's currently 1.7.3a. You just hit the button here, Download Module. Then you're going to go to the RetroArch Cores section. Like I said, you want the FBA cores and the MAME cores. There are two FBA cores you can choose from and four MAME cores. There are two cores that seem to have the best compatibility out of all of them. That is FBA 2016 and MAME 2003. You may see some FBA CPS cores. You won't need that. The FBA 2016 core encompasses all those cores in it. So the FBA 2016 core is actually under Final Burn Alpha, just a regular lib retro naming. So you want to find the Final Burn Alpha RetroArch core. If you scroll down, you'll see it has the FBA 2016 command line. You hit download module and that'll download that one to your Hackchi program. We're going to do the same thing for the MAME 2003 core. Download module and that will appear on our Hackchi program as well. Like I said, there's a lot of MAME cores. There's 2000, 2003, 2010, and 2014. But 2003 has the highest compatibility so I really recommend using that one. We're going to close this window, go back to our modules tab, and install extra modules. If you haven't already, put a check next to the RetroArch Neo Core, MAME 2003, and FBA 2016, then hit the OK button. A bar will appear on your screen, and once it's filled in all the way, it means these cores are downloaded to your system and they're ready to be used. All right, so our cores have been added. Now we have to add our games. So what we need to do is go to the Add More Games button. And you're gonna navigate to the folder that you have your arcade ROMs in. So how about the Simpsons arcade game? We'll add that one. And now, like I said before, you have to have the correct named ROM. This is Simpsons2p.zip. If you try and use the four-player version, you'll be stuck using only one character. But if you use the two-player version, you can select between them. So we've selected Simpsons. We're going to hit the Open button. This is what you're going to see when you add arcade games. This is a file system. It is multiple files zipped together. This is what we're looking for. We want to see these multiple files. Then you're going to hit Import as Archive. Close the button on the next window and Simpsons is added. Now I'm going to show you what happens when you add a game with the QSound BIOS included with it. How about Marvel vs. Capcom? That seems to be a very popular game. So the MVSCU zip will run on the classic systems. But if you hit Open, you'll see here that it singled out this QSound file. And if you add it just as it is, it will not run. So here's how you get around that. I've taken my game, I put it on my desktop. I'm going to right click it and using my 7-zip program, extract to MVSCU. That's going to create an individual folder just for this game, just like this. So I'm going to go in this folder and we have our file system here as well and QSound bin. I'm just going to take that out. So make sure you have deleted the original zip file that we used for this, the one with the QSound bin in it. Then right click the folder. Go to 7-Zip again, add to archive. It will be named the same way. This is why you have to get rid of your old file. You can hit OK. It's going to create a new zip file for you. So this is our new zip file without QSound in it. We're going to drag that into our games here. And now look, it will add it correctly as a file system. Import as archive. Close the next screen. Now there's one more step you have to take with arcade games. Even if you install the cores before adding the games, you still have to manually change the command line. So with Marvel vs. Capcom and Simpsons, I know those both work with the FBA core, so we're going to change our command line. This slash bin slash zip right here, you're going to take out that zip and add FBA 2016. So that's it. The last step is just hit the synchronize button and that'll send those games from your PC to your classic system. 
All right, so let's take a look at these arcade games. So let's take a look at Marvel vs. Capcom first. Like I said, these are running on the FBA 2016 core or just the FBA core if you're looking through the list. Um, but they run really good. A lot of games will not run. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 does not run. Night Stalkers, you will not get to run at full speed either. Any 3D arcade game will not run. That Ninja Baseball Batman game will not run. So here we are, you hit select the coin up. Let's go crazy. Let's go crazy. Alright, who are we gonna be? I don't know. Um, how about Spidey? He's a good one. I've always liked, oh, you know what, I kind of wanted War Machine. Well, I guess we'll be Spider-Man and War Machine. I don't remember the modes. Also, I'm not good at fighting games, so don't judge me on this, but here's Marvel vs. Capcom running on my NES Classic. Yeah, against Mega Man, of course. All right, we got a web swing. That's good. Okay. Good job. Good job. So you can see this game plays real good. Um, it sounds good. I don't hear any any sound issues there's no graphics issues it's running really good just want to beat mega man once there we go okay and on to simpsons if you get this ram rom test at the beginning that's actually good that means that the game is running okay if you get kicked back to the menu that means that something's wrong either you don't have the right core game combination or it just doesn't work period so it's nice to get that rom check at the beginning coin it up march homer barton lisa uh we'll be homer I usually pick Bart. We'll pick Homer though, he's the big guy. Maggie's getting stolen. Just like Taken. This is exactly like Taken. I wouldn't be surprised if Taken didn't get his inspiration by the Simpsons arcade game. Make sure you stay away from doors. People like to just smack you with them for some reason. Every door. It's every door, also. But again, this is one of those games um, that runs really good using the FBA cores. We got him. Yeah, shake it. Please, Homer. Shake it like you mean it. I just want to blow up the balloon real quick. I won. And that's it. That's all there really is to it. The hard part is just finding the ROM core combination. And there's no real list out there or a guide as to which ones run with which. This is still kind of a relatively new thing, so no one's developed a guide. But on my channel, I do have a series that I've been doing for a long time. It's got over 100 episodes now called the Will It Run series. All the games are featured on my SNES Classic, but they do run on the NES Classic as well. So if you do want to see some compatibility games, you can go to that playlist. I'll put it in the description for you for a bunch of arcade games and how to get them to run on these classic systems. Make sure you keep coming back. I'm going to show you a lot more things you can do with your classic systems. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, if you want to contact me outside of YouTube, feel free to use any of these social media platforms. Also, while you're here, why don't you check out some of the other videos that I put out, and if you feel like it, subscribe to the channel.